case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A 1953 Nebraska Supreme Court case, Reichenbaugh v. Kraus, centered around the question of whether a given permission to use someone else's land for development allows for continued use, even if the owner changes their mind later. Additionally, the case examined the legality of a landowner obstructing natural surface water flow to their neighbor's properties. The dispute involved landowners Emil E. Kraus and Josephine H. Kraus and their neighbor, Norman A. Reichenbaugh. Reichenbaugh used a tile drain to enhance the natural drainage on his land, which crossed through the Krauss's property. The trial court ruled that Reichenbaugh had an easement to maintain a tile drain over the Krauss's land. The court also found Emil E. Kraus liable for obstructing the natural flow of surface water to Reichenbaugh's land, causing crop damage. The main issues hinged on whether Reichenbaugh had an easement or a license to use the Krauss's land, and if Emil E. Kraus was responsible for the crop damage. The court concluded that the lower court erred in determining the compensation amount and that the appellant, who had lost the case, was required to cover the costs of the appeal. The case was partially upheld and partly remanded to the lower court for further review. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.